Demi! Auntie! Uh, Are you okay? We already left for church. Papa will be angry. Chubby, down now, no. I don't tell you see this church man. Demi, down now. It's a pen now. Chubby, Chubby. I'm going to take back to go on church. Come on, come on, come on. Auntie, Don't be like that. Auntie, yeah, well, me, I don't tell you about this church matter. Are you actually talking to me like that? No, don't be like that, Auntie. Mm. No, Please, no, not bring. Ah, bring, bring that pot. For me. Auntie, are they why? Rice, really? Eh, take it to my spiritual father. You rise before spiritual father? Yes. Auntie, a shock with spiritual father in here. Timmy, be careful. A shock with spiritual papa in here. Timmy, be careful. You rise, really? Eh, why? Eh, why? Auntie, eh, why? See. Let's go first, let's go. When we are back, I have one story that I want to tell you. What story is that? Spiritual father. And what story is that? Rice. Yes. Spiritual father. Rice at Chiki. No, it's Sunday. Spiritual father. When I come back, I even have one story that I want to tell you. Father. And what story is that? Rice. Yes. Spiritual father. No, it's Sunday. Now, come and tell me the story you have for me. Come yeah, on, Larry. After you giving your father and the Lord rice and chicken, uh, yeah, rice and chicken to your cow, I genuinely. What are you yeah. telling me? Father and the Lord know the job. Anyway, Auntie, mm, Chukwe make a roast to a nationwide recognition following the death of a church member. Ha, Allah Wakuba. Allah Wakuba, Bibao. Chukwe make a roast to a nationwide recognition following the death of a church member. You see, before I search forward in narrating this story, I know one or two of his church members or disciples might also try to attack this post. But if you can go back to the house, you can go back to the house. You can go back to the house. You can go back to the house. You can go back to the It is appalling that those who are the vanguard of speaking against rape, sexual violence, murder, and other evil acts are the ones engaging in it. A whole lot of people don't know the God that they are serving. Oloruni faari funi kobla hanta buduni. Wamola yari funi fakeifa yahak buduni. Ibada tu jailina bingeri elimi kakaritosi yakunu bila suturi. I know the question that will be popping up in one or two people's head right now is that is this guy a Muslim? No, I'm a proud Christian to the core. It is just that we have a lot of evil men parading themselves as Christians and they are being allowed to be among the church leaders. As they continue to abuse their church members for their own glory, self-loss and power control. This story is very interesting, oh Ajay. In the school of intellectuals and intellectualism, coupled with the Universitas Magistorum et Scholarium, Latin in Moso, while light to light, they cannot even narrate this story like the way I want to narrate it. So like I always say, take a chill pill, grab a chair, I'm about to take you on another voyage, a sweet historical excursion to bless your psychological and your pictorial atmosphere. Don't worry, this time I'm not going to cut it. You're going to listen to it in full. The fact that this act occurred amongst religious leaders is very shameful. Chukwemeka is a Christian preacher from Anambra State, a graduate of psychologist, well trained in manipulation and mind control. <laughs> in fact, when he was charged to court, his members gathered outside the courtroom with a picture of him tied around their neck, just like a rosary. You see, eh, religion be like Igbo, it be like cocaine, now opium for some set of people. He was very wicked, full of evil, was a deceiver who sexually molested, abused and tortured most of his female church members, both the married one and the single ladies, especially those having spiritual problems in their homes. And for the married women is sexually abused, their husbands dare not look into the eyes of this notorious man called Chukwe Meka. Ah. He could order dozens of his bodyguard to demonize anybody who does such. His words were law in his church, binding all his church members whom he hypnotized with voodoo. Chukwe Meka drove the most expensive cars, wore highly expensive imported and customized designer suits. Ah. Badu. He lived in luxurious homes and controlled a lot of people. He usually beat his church members with hard objects and even tells them to kneel down. He even affirmed to this allegation in the court. He said, I am a preacher. I know the spirit of witchcraft. If somebody is a liar, he's bewitching God. I don't condone lie and I flog a lot. 
Ah! Anyway, so one particular day, Chukwemeka was said to have caught some of his church member in the act of fornication. So he assembled them downstairs, made them kneel down, and he caused petrol to be poured on them, and he struck match on them. They all sustained various degrees of bonds. While five escaped, the six of them who later sustained 65% of degree bonds later died. Reverend King was said to have employed a female slave who served him naked. But ban last coron to put pastor. It was arraigned at the Lagos State High Court, Ikeja, on September 26, 2006, on six count charge of murder of a member of his church, Anne Uzo, an attempted mother of five others. You won't believe that these five men later testified that it was generator explosion. But during the course of these proceedings, this mysterious generator was never produced. Justice Olubu Mioyewale Onorukobinani convicted King and sentenced him to 20 years imprisonment on each of the five counts and a death sentence for the murder. <laughs> Few years ago, some of his church members embossed the picture of their cleric on their clothes. In a convoy and heavy drumming, they were singing and dancing. And they were also expressing their hope for the return of Reverend King, which they hope will be released. Despite his conviction, he still commands a lot of respect and being highly revered by his followers who strongly believe in his ideologies and teachings. On February 26, 2024, his church members are always placing advertisement on newspaper to celebrate him, describing him as Daddy G.O. Holiness, the most honorable, Dr. Reverend King. Till today, they still conduct baptism for converts and members who are yet to be fully accepted into his church. A lawyer, Mr. Tunde Esson, said the former governor of the state were to be blamed for not signing the death warrant since 1999 till date. Till today, no governor have signed his execution warrant. From Tinumbu to Fashola to Ambode and even Sonwolu. Don't be me go talk within the your mind. Talk on yourself. Another lawyer, President Aigboka, argued that it seems that the convict could be granted pardon by the government. And also adding that in doing so, it will deny the victims justice. It seems it commands much respect, even from the prison. There is no offense that is not pardonable. It is the state decision that supersedes. Up till today, no governor have signed his death warrant. His church member are also believing that he will return. Did I also tell you that he had a slave that usually serve him naked? Church leader, indeed. Anti Michelari, the Timo is of me, pay shake sink or collar, and yati fast on a definite long survey. The rise to a catcher. See you some other time. Thank you, and thank you for following our stories. Thank you.